Hello everyone, this is our presentation for Sustainable Engineering module. Our topic is an alternative solution for polysac banks used for vegetable fruits transportation in Sri Lanka. We are from group number 36. I am straight to the project. Polysac bags are a type of container made of thin and flexible. These are used for containing and transporting goods such as fruits, vegetables and grocery items. These polysac bags are widely used in many countries but it causes many environmental impacts. <clears throat> it's harmful to the environment as it takes a very long time to decompose. It releases harmful gases like CO2, CO and other some the toxic gases. So this project will give you a best alternative for polysac bags. Next slide. The industries, they use polypropylene and ethylene as the ingredient of polysac bags. Here we have listed out some of the properties. First one, chemical resistance, elasticity and toughness, fatigue resistance, good heat resistance. If we consider chemical resistance, they are uh, not react with dilute acids, acids and bases. If we consider the heat resistance, these polysac bags have resistive ability against high temperature. So the research says the melting point of this is 105 degrees Celsius to 150 degrees Celsius. So the polysac bags keep the contents fresh. Next. We move to manufacturing process. The processing method of manufacturing is called the blown film extraction. And here we explain that with the simple flow chart. At the very first, propylene and ethylene transform into polypropylene by extrusion technique. Then the polypropylene film heated in oven, then the process releases some gases as CO2 and CO. The polypropylene tape stretched and wound in yarns. Then the fabric made by using wrapping and yarn winning machines. Finally, they cut it into sizes and made polysac bags. Next slide will be continued by my friends. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. I am going to talk about use and application of polysac bag. Agriculture product packing, food packing, grain packing, used to transport vegetable and foods. I would like to explain these things one by one. The first one is agriculture product packing. We all know that agriculture is important to everyone. If you're taking seeds, Felices, Fadi are packing by polysac bag because polysac bags are available to everyone and that is very familiar. The second one is food packing. Plastic packaging is very flexible and adaptable form of packaging, which allows manufacturers to customers its shape, size, and style as per their customers' requirements. The third one is used to transport vegetable and foods. Plastic packaging is an extremely lightweight storage option. Doesn't require a lot of storage space either. Since they don't take much storage space, they are also extremely easy to transport, thus reducing the harm and good uh, footprint during the transportation. Now moving on next slide. Problem with the product of material. Resource depletion, shortage on the limited source, high affects the environment pollution. Large amount of propylene and ethylene used to manufacture polysac bag. Further, while burning the polysac bag that release methane and CO2 and CO2 contributing to global warming. Polysac bag production, global pollution, high level of energy use, water pollution. The next one, disposing after use, creating house effect, global warming, releasing toxic gases. Polysac bags made by toxic chemicals. So, polysac bags face a lot of problems to humans, such as cancer, thyroid problem and neurological problem. Rest of the presentation, I will continue with my friend. Thank you. Thank you, Nelson. I am so vigilant. First, we look about available alternatives. First alternative solution is paper bag. It is solved many problems such as toxic gases can prevent the mixing of air. Soil resource will be product and it is not harmful to human. Second alternative solution is wood box. It is solved many problems. There are, it is not harmful to environment and human. And it is reusable and recyclable. Third alternative solution is jute bag. It is solved many problems such as it is recyclable and reusable and it is biodegradable. Degradable. Now moving on next slide. Next we look about best alternative. We selected recyclable paper bag for best alternative. 
why can't we use paper bags as a replacement for polyester bag? Because paper bags are decomposed much more quickly than polyester bag. Polyester bag take a long time to decompose, but does not do not completely break down. But paper bags decompose completely, but paper and the time it take very shorter than polyester bag. It can reduce the impact of the environment. It is a recyclable. Paper bags are 100% biodegradable and reusable. The use of paper bags can prevent the toxic gas reaching the environment. Next, we look about benefit achieved. While burning polysac bags release harmful gas, but paper bags don't release because Policy bags manufacturing by large amount of propylene and ethane. It is very harmful to the environment and humans. So we can use paper bags as the best way to reduce this problem. Paper bags decompose quickly more than polysac bags. Soil resource is less vulnerable. I'm going to invite Kavil Akshan. Thank you, Sobijan. I am Kablixen. I am going to talk about discussion part of our presentation. Polysec bags take main part in transportation all over the world. And also it used to pack vegetable, food items and many things. The polysec bags ingredients makes environmental pollute. It, in the production and destruction of the polysec bags, it leaves toxic gases which are not good for health. So we must find a good alternative to the polysec bags. We found paper bags as an alternative for polysec bags. The polysec bags and the paper bags have some same qualities that can be useful for us. They are less weight, no reaction with goods, cheap to produce, user-friendly and durable. Next, we will see the disadvantage of polysec bags, that is CO2 emission, water pollution and air pollution. Next, we will look different between paper bags and polysec bags. Paper bags are really biodegradable, but polysec bags are non-biodegradable. Airborne chemical of paper bag is 2.1 gram per bag, but polysec bag is 1.1 gram per bag. Recyclable percentage of paper bags are much more than polysec bag in the world. So these are the proof that paper bag is the best alternative to polysec bags. Okay, next part of the presentation is continued by Kujan. Thank you, Kavilakshan. I'm Kujan. My topic is conclusion. Paper bags are decomposed quickly and also paper was a new reno renewable material. Paper bags are 100% biodegradable and easy to recycle. While burning paper bags doesn't release toxic gases, so it uh, reduce, uh, reduce the global warming and, uh, and environmental pollution. So paper bags are environmental friendly. Also paper are not harmful to human. It doesn't spoil the soil resources and it is a durable and reusable things. Polysac bags are not sustainable and you need UV beams to engulate in each its destructive nature. But paper bags are, pro are produced using a sustainable common assets can be reused over and over and uh, can be dispatched to a new plant and uh, revamped into a new paper. If you're looking for a classic look and a feel good in an alternative solution for polysac bags, paper, paper, paper bags are a great option for it. Considering all this information, paper bags is more suitable alternative for polysac bags. These are the references where we got information for our presentation. Thank you.